The 2014 North Coast Blue Chips are the single greatest collection of middle school talent the basketball world has ever seen. Led by Bronny James and featuring frequent coaching or courtside appearances by his dad LeBron, this AAU team was loaded at every position and constantly went viral for their incredible play and lofty prospect status. Here's everything you need to know about the legendary Blue Chips roster and what the squad is up to now. Kicking off the list is none other than Bronny James. Bronny has been in the public eye his entire life thanks to his prodigious father, but has been making a name for himself on the court even before his blue chip days. Bronny is currently enrolled at the iconic Sierra Cannon School in LA, and while his team underperformed down the stretch, Bronny had a pretty great individual season, culminating with a spot on the McDonald's All-American team. Going into this season, there was a lot of speculation that Bronny wasn't an NBA caliber prospect, mostly due to his modest 6'3 height. But Bronny quietly and diligently silenced the doubters and let his outstanding basketball IQ, defensive instincts, and well-rounded game solidify his status as a consensus four-star recruit. Bronny made such a leap in some scouts' eyes that ESPN recently projected him as a top 10 pick in the 2024 NBA Draft. Bronny is still deciding the next step in his basketball career, but the LA Times has reported that he's choosing between Ohio State, Oregon, USC, and the G League Ignite. Although presently he only has offers from Ohio State, USC, and Memphis, but given the Nike-Oregon connection, it's hard not to see that eventually materializing. Ever since 12-year-old Mikey Williams first dunked in a game, he's been a highly sought-after prospect. As a 7th grader, he was ranked the number one player in the class of 2023 and even received an offer from Arizona State before starting his high school career. But it wasn't until he suited up alongside Bronny that he hit a special kind of celeb status. Williams showed everyone why he was so highly regarded during his freshman year at San Isidro when he scored 50 points in just his second career game before going on to average around 30 points per game. If that wasn't impressive enough, he would eventually score an amazing 77 points later that season. Unfortunately, Williams wasn't quite able to recreate that freshman year magic. After bouncing around to Norman Christian and Vertical Academy, his ranking took a hit. But Williams returned to San Cedro to finish high school and reestablished himself as the 34th player in ESPN's Top 100 and a four-star recruit. But don't let that drop in ranking fool you. Williams still has an incredible ceiling. As an uber-athletic combo guard who can get his own shot, he's always going to be in demand, even if it's just at six foot two. While Williams previously had offers from the likes of Kansas, LSU, Arkansas, USC, Tennessee, Oregon, and Pittsburgh, among many others, he committed to play next season for the Memphis Tigers under coach Penny Hardaway. Rounding out the big three of the 2014 Blue Chips is the sharpshooter Gabe Cups. Cups is probably best known as the kid who went shot for shot with LeBron at halftime at one of their games, but he quickly showed he was more than just a shooter. Cups stayed in Ohio for high school playing for Centerville and leading them to a state title in his sophomore year before following it up with a perfect 28-0 regular season in his junior year. In Ohio, Mr. Basketball, Cups is the 67th ranked prospect by ESPN and a four-star recruit by 24-7 Sports. Cups became a pretty popular figure off the court as well thanks to a starring role in his own reality show with overtime called Chopping Wood, but basketball remains his number one priority. After weighing offers from Stanford, Kansas State, Miami, Ohio, Michigan, Ohio State, Virginia Tech, and Xavier, Cups will be playing for the Indiana Hoosiers next season. No elite team would be complete without a dominant big man, and boy did the Blue Chips have one in Jazeer Jackson. Jackson was a whopping 6'9 at just 14 years old, routinely went viral for towering over pretty much every opponent he played against. And most famously, the internet lost its mind when a meme got out showing that a young man was already taller than LeBron James. After the Blue Chips, Jackson went to IMG Academy where he grew to 7 feet and some 300 pounds and easily dominated his competition, drawing early comparisons to Shaq and Joel Embiid. While his height and size are imposing, he was understandably a little slow on his feet and thus not highly rated. Still, when Jackson signed with Overtime Elite in 2021, giving up his college eligibility in the process, it was a massive score for the program and he's been there ever since. Currently, Jackson is considered a three-star recruit and recently won the OTE championship in back-to-back -back seasons. Up next is Coy Thurman, a crafty lefty point guard. Thurman has jumped around to a few different high schools starting at Coplay where he averaged around 18 points and 5 assists his sophomore year before transferring over to Buktel. While Thurman is currently unranked, he isn't without college options. In April of 2021, he picked up an offer from Illinois and reportedly has interest from schools like Georgia, Indiana, and Memphis. 
While he hasn't decided on any schools yet, given Indiana and Memphis have already secured commitments from former teammates Cups and Williams respectively, there's a solid chance he could reunite with one of his blue chip brothers at the college level. Thanks to his elite athleticism and ability to dunk in just the 8th grade, Ray Von Griffith has quickly emerged as the star on the Blue Chip squad. After leading Taft High School to a state title in his junior year, Griffith transferred to AZ Compass Prep for his senior season, playing alongside guys like Mookie Cook, Victorious Miller, and Farrell Compton. As a 6'5 small forward and a 4-star recruit, Griffith had plenty of college options to choose from, including Alabama, Alabama A&M, Kansas, Kansas State, and UCLA, but chose to play for Cincinnati this upcoming season. Amir Robinson is a 6'4 wing and two-star prospect who played basketball for John R. Buchtel Community Learning Center and the 2023 Indiana Elite AAU program. Despite receiving offers from Akron, Kent State, UMass, Northern Illinois, and Alabama A&M, Robinson verbally committed to the University of Nevada following an official visit to the school and the first player to do so from the class of 2023. While Rodney Gallagher never went quite as viral as some of his teammates, it was clear to real basketball fans that he was booming with athletic potential. While attending Laurel Highlands High School, the 5'10", 160-pound Gallagher found a new love and blossomed into a four-star wide receiver. According to 24-7 Sports, Gallagher is the number 28 receiver in his class, which might explain why he received over 20 offers from schools like UConn, Houston, and Arizona State. But last June, he committed to the West Virginia Mountaineers. And lastly, we have Luke Montgomery. Montgomery was a big on the 14 blue chip squad who continued to play basketball at Finlay High School as a 6 foot 5, 260 pound center. But like Gallagher, he found himself drawn to football and earned a four star recruit status. Montgomery is considered the sixth best offensive tackle in his class. And after debating between 30 plus offers, he'll be taking his talents to the Ohio State University. Despite having 10 plus cameras on them at every game and facing all the extraordinary pressures that come with that kind of attention and scrutiny, the 2014 Blue Chips managed to rise to the occasion. And while everyone has gone their separate ways, with some people even switching sports altogether, they'll always be teammates. In fact, the Blue Chip bond is so strong that several of them recently reunited and shared the court last July. Gabe Cups, Rayvon Griffith, Ja Jackson, Coy Thurman, and of course, Bronny James all suited up on the same team at an event called the Blue Chips Reunion, put on by the battle. It was a fitting send-off in what was probably the final chapter for this now legendary team. Thanks for watching. Of course, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. We're currently dropping two videos a week that you're not going to want to miss out on. But right now, only about 1% of our audience is currently subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all things basketball.